Christmas memories. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I shared a few weeks ago, I think in one of my what I eat in a day videos, but it was some banana bread that I was eating for breakfast. I shared it here on my channel and also on Instagram and I got so many messages about that banana bread with everybody wanting me to share that recipe and I told everyone to just sit tight because I was planning on sharing it and my whole intention was to share it during Vlogmas, which is finally here. So I am excited to tell you guys that I am finally sharing the best banana bread recipe in the whole world. It is so good. I literally crave it every single week. It is perfect to eat in the morning. I have a little slice of it with some eggs every morning. It's really yummy as a dessert. It's good as just like a mid-morning or mid-day snack if you want it. The best part though is that it's also a perfect gift to give to someone. It's great for someone who has recently moved into a new home, maybe a new neighbor that you have. It's great to give to relatives or friends, maybe somebody that you know at church, um, maybe somebody that you work with or volunteer with. There are so many different reasons you could give this banana bread for, um, but a really great reason is to give it to someone for Christmas. It's really super easy, it comes from the heart, and it tastes delicious. And I am going to show you a really cute and easy way that you can package it up to give it to someone as a gift as well. So let's head on over to the oven and get to baking. Start by spraying your loaf pan with cooking spray. I am actually using a coconut oil spray for this, but any cooking spray will work or you could even use Crisco to grease the pan and then set it aside. Next you'll need half a cup or one stick of butter. And if you're anything like me, then you will probably forget to take your butter out ahead of time so that it softens for your recipe. But a quick and easy way to get softened butter for any baking recipe is cut it into cubes and allow it to sit out a little bit while your oven preheats. By the time you're ready to add it in to your ingredients, it will have the perfect consistency of softened butter to use. Next, you're going to take three to four ripened bananas. The more brown, the better. And as you can tell, these were definitely ripe. So I really needed to get these used up pretty quickly. Um, also, another little trick for you, if you don't have ripened bananas, but you want to make banana bread or banana anything, a quick and easy way to ripen your bananas is popping them into a 300 degree oven for about 15 to 30 minutes. You definitely wanna make sure you watch them, but just until they are brown and they will be perfectly ripe for you. And then just using a potato masher or a fork, go ahead and mash your bananas until they are a thick, chunky consistency. In a large bowl, go ahead and add your softened butter three quarter cups of brown sugar and whisk that together until it's combined. And this is the consistency that you will have. Next, add in two eggs, a third cup of sour cream, and if you wanna make it a little bit healthier, you can replace this with Greek yogurt. Go ahead and add in those mashed bananas, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and mix that together until it's combined. Next, add in a teaspoon of cinnamon, 
two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, one package of instant pudding mix, and vanilla or banana pudding would work the best for this recipe, and a pinch of salt. And mix that all together until combined, being careful not to overmix it because you don't want to end up with tough bread. You should end up with batter that is thick and clumpy in consistency. Go ahead and add your batter to your already prepared loaf pan and make sure that you smooth it out so that it reaches all of the edges of the pan. The city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him, but he's nowhere inside. And are still by the tree they don't mean a thing till this here with me if you know where it is please. in a separate bowl mix together half a cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon Right before you place it in the oven, sprinkle your cinnamon and brown sugar mixture on top of the bread and pop it in the oven preheated to 350 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take the bread out and go ahead and loosely cover it with aluminum foil so that it creates a loose tent on top. This helps to prevent the streusel topping from cooking faster than the inside of the bread and burning. Definitely don't want that. And as you can see, I was battling my oven here. The air coming from the oven was blowing away my aluminum foil and giving me a little bit of a hassle. Set your timer again for 30 minutes and allow it to finish cooking. To wrap your bread and give it as a gift, place it upside down on a large piece of plastic wrap and go ahead and fold up the sides to secure it. Using some scrapbooking paper, go ahead and cut it to a little bit larger than the width of your loaf pan. I actually found this paper at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was really cute and festive for the holidays. Flip the paper upside down and place your bread on top of it upside down to create a little wrapping around it and secure it with some tape. I actually tried to use some fun glittery washi tape, but the washi tape was not sticking to the plastic wrap, so good old scotch tape came to the rescue. I've been working so much lately. And then tie some colorful or really pretty and festive ribbon around it. I'm actually using some natural jute that I had on hand. I thought that it looked really nice with this particular paper. And just tie it into a really cute bow and give it a nice presentation. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. So there you have it, a really yummy and beautiful banana bread to give to anyone that is super special in your life. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you make this banana bread recipe and love it so much because it has definitely become a favorite. Even Chris requests it every single week now. 
And um, yeah, I, I really hope that this lived up to the expectation. Definitely leave in the comments below if you made it and let me know what your thoughts were on it. Um, like I said, I've made this a bunch of times and it always is just super delicious and is just always a real big pleaser with everyone. So thank you so much for sharing in your time with me. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.